this is the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020, the video game, an experience that aims to somewhat simulate the experience of being at the Olympic Games while going for a more cartoon aesthetic and style for this particular entry. In the past, they've gone for realism, and I guess they've kind of thrown that out in order to add more options for customization of athletes, and I guess to maybe make it a little bit easier development-wise for them. So this is on the Series X, and we're getting a push towards a 4K resolution with HDR support. There is local two-player multiplayer and online multiplayer up to eight players. It is a neat system in the sense that literally every kind of event is designed for you to just easily be able to jump in and compete against other players online, or to do so locally, or even just play against the AI in competitions if you'd like to. And there are a range of different modes available. You get everything from running, to swimming, to soccer, to, well, soccer slash football, you know, you want to make sure that's right, rugby, table tennis, tennis, you know, you're going to see, I think, clips of basically every sport in this video, just so you can get an idea of what they're all like with little snippets. So yeah, you get a wide range of options, you get to play as your own created athlete, and you can also customize your team as well. It's also a funny Sonic the Hedgehog skin, or well not skin, but costume you can wear, and that's kind of neat. And you're also earning points and stuff in order to unlock additional costumes and outfit designs and customization selections. So you know, they've got a wide range of different ways to improve or change how you look, I guess, to whatever sort of specification you want. Be as silly as you want, and this is a game where really, you know, it doesn't matter what you look like, your age, or anything like that. Everyone can be an athlete, because why not? Anyways, uh, I personally liked the older style, where it was more realistic. At the same time, I, I think the animated style that they went with this time, the cartoon look, uh, sort of allowed them to maybe expand the scope of what this provides, as is actually a solid package. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Olympic Games as video games, it's a very challenging sort of thing to make from a development standpoint. Uh, basically, they create a pile of mini-games, and they try to do as many different sports as possible. And, well, obviously that's very hard to do. You have to create so many different systems, and that basically provides us with very simplified experiences. So this isn't complex, but it gets the basics down and actually provides some pretty fun experiences. You know, you got your running, you got your swimming, you got things like that. And uh, I'll talk about the controls in a sec. And I did feel that some core events were kind of missing from this selection, but for the most part, you know, there's a range of, you know, mostly interesting mini games. Some of them are like real duds, but you get a selection of options, and I think that's kind of nice to have here. And I think it does actually look quite good visually, like the aesthetics are actually quite nice on this one, it's pretty cool. They also do a really good job of being creative with how the controls are designed for each of the individual sports. Now that does make it a little bit hard for you to perhaps get into, but once you do learn the different sports, you know, I think you'll get a hang of things pretty fast. It's just kind of neat because you get all these different options, like for the swimming, you gotta use the control this way, for running, you gotta do it this way. And, and like I mentioned, some of the the sporting events aren't fantastic. Like some of them I was like, oh, this is frustrating, or this control scheme isn't the best for this, or it doesn't feel right. And it, it's also a bit silly because it's not like a, a re again, not realistic. You, like you see the fire running and stuff like that, which takes me a, a little bit out of the Olympics because, you know, I take this type of sporting sort of thing fairly seriously as far as, as far as like watching and you know my engagement with the olympics because i do think personally that is quite a big deal but of course you know it kind of goes for that fun style and i think this might make it a lot more accessible for players that are looking to enjoy the olympics or like kind of emulate that feeling while playing a game and like i said you know visually it actually looks kind of nice you get a, a sense of density within the environment so you get customization for the different like countries there are a wide range of options to completely change how you look how your fellow country athletes look whatever setup you want in it you know that's kind of a nice feature i suppose just for making it you know accessible and easily available for customization which is nice it's just that you know obviously at some point it would be really cool to have like a master sort of Olympic experience that just keeps getting upgraded over time or you know just like a core base that they can expand upon because like I said you know you're, you're not having Olympics all the time and we do make a game based on it 
you really have to do like a wide range of different sports, which makes it very difficult to provide really, you know, kind of comprehensive things. Like you play the, the baseball game on here, it's very simplistic. You play soccer, very simplistic. I don't think they're necessarily bad by any means, but if you played like more intense simulation versions, you're kind of like, oh god, this is such a downgrade. But at the same time, you always have you always have to understand, like, hey, you know, this is kind of thrown together in combination with a bunch of other sports that they're trying to emulate. Some of them they get really right. Other ones, it's like, oh, this is very rough. But you get a range of different things. You can find what you like. You can try out the different events, and you can have a good time doing so. And like I said, you can play like with multiplayer instantly, whether that's locally or online, it's very easy to connect and compete with others. Or you can just play offline with the AI, and sometimes the AI can actually be pretty ruthless in some of the competitions, especially as you make it up through the past the semifinals and everything like that. It's just not super complex in what it provides, it's very straightforward. But you get a range of options, and you get a lot of different gameplay choices for how you want to interact and compete. and. You know, they are kind of intuitive with the different setups. It just would be neat if they could maybe release it more often so that, you know, we get more of an advancement in the tech instead of basically, you know, the way game development works. You're practically doing a, a brand new game every single Olympics because they're like, what, four years away for like summers and four years away for winter. I know it's like two years between them, but basically like the summer stuff doesn't transfer over to the winter if you're doing a game. So it's completely from scratch. So I kind of appreciate that element, but I think, you know, like visually, again, looking at the different areas, it actually looks pretty good. It's got a nice visual style to it, uh, very high quality. This is probably like the best looking uh, Olympics game we've had thus far. A at the same time, I'm just sort of thinking uh, I really like the more realistic uh, approach in simulating the Olympics just because, you know, I enjoy the regular Olympics so much. It would be nice to have something you know, like that. And I just think of like all the sports that kind of like didn't make the cut and I'm like, okay, it's just a solid experience. There's a lot left to be desired, but I, I think, you know, they've kind of done a good job of making something fun and accessible for a lot of players to come in and be like, oh cool, I can check out all these different sports and I can have a good time. Oh, and there's like singles and doubles for competitions as well. I think for the most part the AI seems to handle things and I, I didn't really notice uh, any issues, you know, it seems to run decently well, whether you're playing, you know, any of the different modes, rugby, soccer, tennis, you know, I, I didn't really see, see any intense issues. It's just mostly like, hey, I wish this performed better, or, hey, I wish this was a bit better in handling. Like, the baseball is super awkward in this one, it just, like, does not uh, compute as a really good uh, baseball experience, but so many of the different modes are actually kind of cool, and then they give you the options. So there's global leaderboards. You're going for gold. Uh, I guess there's 18 fun fueled sporting events. So you get, you know, some of the key ones. You get some of the different ones. Is it like a perfect, you know, exploration and look into the wonderful style of the Olympics? No, it's, it's probably not going to be ever. I, I, would, I don't think. Actually, it would be really cool if it could be at some point. But you know, for now, I think this is actually a good thing for its time. It's something you probably want to jump on while the Olympics are happening. It's kind of a really small time window for this sort of thing to be available, I imagine. But I definitely do appreciate the efforts on this one. I, I think it actually is a fairly solid offering. It, it can be quite fun to play. Some of the stuff is pretty challenging, and I, I kind of enjoyed that, the thrill of it, working to try to figure things out. Some stuff was really easy. But for the most part, I, I enjoyed it. They also have these really cool melody moments where it's kind of like a cross split of different uh, sporting events put together. So that kind of is a neat competition element that just expands things further and gives you different ways to play. So I thought that was cool. It's just, you know, it, it's kind of interesting to see this and, and see the characters applied to so many different situations. It's just kind of well done. And like I said, there's creativity and how you adjust how your character looks and uh, the way they play and your team style as well which is kind of cool as you can see like I'm here and then I've got you know Sonic there <laughs> as one of my players which is kind of funny just having Sonic in this is just hilarious I mean we obviously have Mario and Sonic like the Olympic games that's uh, nothing new but to have this style of game with Sonic is, is kind of funny and uh, yeah you know they actually they probably could have done more costumes and stuff I don't know it is what it is. It's kind of cool. It's solid. It's decent. If you're in the, the thrillingness of wanting to sort of celebrate and explore the Olympics, I think this is a, a decent way to do it. It's not necessarily amazing, but it's fun. It's engaging. It's different. A bunch of different fun mini games. 
I think it could be entertaining for a group of folks uh, if you want to kind of compete. And I, I think it's kind of a distinct option within the world of the Olympic Games. And I kind of hope that they maybe have a winter version ready as well, because that would be kind of cool, since that's not too far away. But for now, I you know kind of enjoyed seeing what this had to offer. And I think it was actually kind of an interesting, intuitive, and different option. You'll see a couple more sports here, but that's basically all I have to say at the Tokyo Olympics for this one. And uh, go Team Canada as well. Team Canada! <laughs> 